Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless each and every one of us again, once more family, for in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says this is a day the Lord has made. And this prophetic word of today, that day is talking about a warning. God told me to warn you, hallelujah. Stay dressed. Someone powerful, praise Master Jesus, is about to address to you. Stay dressed. Someone powerful. This is an encounter. This is a word of preparation. This word is for you to know who you are and what is coming ahead of you. In the name of Jesus. The reason why Goliath lost the battle with David it was because David knew whom he was going to fight. But Goliath never knew whom he was fighting. So whenever you know who you are fighting, you take time to prepare yourself. Hallelujah. I have seen a football game that has been planned for three months. Like every day, people lead nation to nation for training upon training. Training. They can spend time to train just for a 90-minute game. Praise Master Jesus. So the moment you know who is your adversary, you prepare yourself because you know who you are fighting. Praise Master Jesus. So once more before we move forward again, I welcome you all family for in Jesus' name. It has pleased God again that we are sharing on the prophetic warning again, which the Lord is saying you should stay dressed. Like whenever you dress, your, lady, you, your dress is like a preparation. Praise Master Jesus. And if this is your first time, God bless you. You're very much welcome to prophetic blessings. Hallelujah. Make sure you're subscribing to become part of this family as a friend, a brother, a brother, a prayer partner, so together we can pray together and the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So this prophetic word is talking about stay trace. I'm seeing someone under the sound of my voice. There is an opportunity coming your way whereby if you are not ready, you are going to miss this opportunity. Hallelujah. There is an opportunity coming your way whereby if you are not ready, you're going to miss this opportunity. What am I trying to say, family? Praise Master Jesus. The Lord is asking you to stay dressed because your dressing alone is your looks. A lot of us has lost opportunity because of the way we dress. A lot of us has lost opportunity because of our belief, belief, belief mindset. There are people, you know, there are some particular territory whereby when you reach there, you need to know that the belief system of this territory can never be above this level. If you see somebody dressing in, in a particular way, know that that person has been out of that territory and got the knowledge outside. But if as long as life and nature is concerned, that you have never lived that territory, your way of dressing will show that this is your level. Your way of knowing and understanding God will show that this is your level. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to let us know something prophetical. I have seen a lot of people that lost their opportunity because of their dressing. One, there is a guy that was arrested by the special grace of God. I'm not going to be calling the name or the country or, or, or whatsoever. But this guy was arrested just because of his dressing. Like they were looking for suspect like there was an investigation going on like the way this guy was dressing from afar they just look at the guy they say no this must be among one of the, the criminal so even if this guy was not a criminal just the way he was dressed alone misinterpret who the guy is i've seen people that that were deported because of their looks and dressing praise master jesus there are places that you can dress half naked it does not matter. We know those type of places, right? But there are places that when you dress half naked, it matters. What I'm trying to say is like sex. Is sex a bad thing? No. Sex is a good thing. But if you do it in the wrong place, you will know that it's a bad thing. Hmm? Everybody knows that this thing between two people is a good thing. When you're doing it in your house legally, it's good. Even as a married woman, go in front of the court or in, or in front of the police. Go and put a bed in front of the police or in front of Amin Barak. Then have the business there with your partner. You know 
that you were doing the right thing at the wrong place. So I'm trying to bring all these ideas for us to know where God is taking me. Hallelujah. I want us to learn. God is asking you to stay dressed. This dressing are some things that you need to put in order and in a mature way. I've seen people that went for an interview in the field. I quite remember I shared this story with us. So many years back, what? Some few years back, what? Like, I, I was financially down. Things were not going. I was looking for a job. Then we went for a part-time job. Like, there was a job opportunity that they called us. Like, they just, somebody just connected me and said, this is a two-week job, and they're paying well. I should go, all those type of things. I was like, okay. The day we were to meet, like, the, the boss himself was in the office. The boss delegated somebody to come and talk with us. And the other person delegated another person. We all know how the, the, the process goes. So now, the time they gave was 11 a.m. Everybody reached 11 a.m. When I was going, I put on my white shirt, my black trouser, my tie, my watch, and I dressed properly. The moment I reached there, like the way I, I was dressed, when I came out, all the people that were there, they was like, the boss is here, the boss is here. I just greeted, good morning, everyone. They responded to me, good morning, sir. I, then I just spoke to them. I put here for the interview, they say, yes, sir. I said, line up. I just told them to, 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 to line up, stand there. Then the man that was coming, that was delegated to come and usher the people, when the man came, the man turned and faced me and said, good morning, sir. I said, yeah. I say, then I asked the man, are you the one coming to take the people for the, to, to the interview venue? The man said, yeah. I said, okay, let's go. I was going with the man. He was discussing with me as, as a boss. He never knew that I myself, I came there for the job, just the way I was dressed, looking responsible. When we reached the, the venue, the, like all the people were shocked that, ah, somebody asked me, sir, are you here for the interview? I say yes. He says, sir, but you don't look like this job. Like, you know, those type of things. Then when the, the, the CEO was a woman, she came like where people were, were standing. I was standing in front. Then when the CEO looked at me, then the CEO now said, oh, you, sir. The woman pointed at me and the woman called me to come. Like, she picked me out of the crowd, trying to ask if I came there for that interview or for something else. All of this was just the way I was dressed. What am I trying to say? Our dressing matter. Physically, spiritually, financially. Don't take the spiritual things and spoil the physical. Don't take the physical and spoil the spiritual. When you're going somewhere, you must know the armor you're putting. Saul so told David, put on the armor. Put on the armor. Put on, put on, put on the armor. David said, no. If I put on the armor, I'm trusting and believing on myself, but I'm going with God. Hallelujah. So I saw a great opportunity coming, and God is asking someone to get ready. God is asking someone to get ready, get ready, get ready. God is asking someone, get ready. Praise Master Jesus, prepare yourself. Something good is coming. Get ready. Get ready. I saw a blessing. I saw a blessing. Get ready. Hallelujah. If you know that the state of your dressing, your look, or one or two things, we understand. The Lord just wants you to get ready. Be ready in all areas, maritally, spiritually, financially, socially. When you appear, let them see, see, you, see you like somebody that is ready. God bless each and every one for joining the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and share for in Jesus' name. Amen.